Hello friends, this video on acid and base part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Now we'll take one activity for chemical properties of acid and base. The activity is pretty simple, we, we just collect some samples from science laboratory. Hydrochloric acid, this is just to make you aware about the different kind of uh, chemicals we use in the labs. Hydrochloric acid, if you see, it will be something like this. It will be uh, transparent in color. Sulfuric acid will also be something like this. It is very difficult to differentiate between hydrochloric and sulfuric acid just by the look. Nitric acid also will be uh, looking like this only. Acetic also acid will also look like this. It will be transparent. Sodium hydroxide is solid generally, so it will look like this. Your potassium hydroxide will also look like this. Your calcium hydroxide will look like this, the white color, powdery kind of stuff. Magnesium hydroxide will also look like this. Your ammonium hydroxide will also look like this. So this is my activity wherein I took out hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid and I knew that all these look like this. Then I took out this potassium hydroxide. Uh, sodium hydroxide they look like this and then I took out this these calcium hydroxide minus minus they look like this so because these acids this uh, acids and base we uh, will use in our labs very frequently so it's good to know how they look like sodium hydroxide look like this potassium hydroxide look like this calcium hydroxide look like this this is just to make yourself familiar with the kinds of acid and base which you use in the labs. We will do some uh, activity on olfactory indicators also as I told. Olfactory indicators are nothing but substance which change the order. Order changes when you put acidic or basic in. For example, I told onion was one, right? was one olfact olfactory indicators which changes the order when you put some basic substance in and the smell goes off so we'll do some activity on that because i told you there are something called olfactory indicator but it's difficult to digest that right so once you do it it is more easy to understand it's uh, i mean the chemistry is more about learning from experiments right so we'll do some experiment we'll get some chopped onions with some uh, clean cloth and put this in the bag and we'll put this in the fridge overnight, right? Now if you see what happens is this strip, the cloth strip which we have, it will get the smell of onion. That's what we're looking for, right? This, this guy is smelling. This guy has onion smell. Correct? Because you have put this guy tied up with the onion and you have put this guy in a fridge for one night. So this guy got the onion smell. And what we have told that uh, the onion smell goes off in the basic thing, right? So now we'll take the steps and we'll check the smell. Yeah, it has smell. It smells like onion, right? Now you put SCL and we'll put NOH both in different steps. So we have two steps actually. We'll take two steps in this or close. In one we'll put SCL. In one we'll put NOH. Using the dropper we get in chemistry labs, you can use the droppers to put this right now we'll uh, put this uh, in sun for some time right or we'll wash this and uh, with water and we'll check the smell you'll observe that the smell of this guy SCL is still there the the one where you have put hydrochloric is it's still smelly and the one where you have put the base, it has no smell. The smell goes off. You can do this actually in your lab. You can take this onion stress from home, put it in the fridge, take it to your lab, ask your lab manager or assistant to give you hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Put that on this two different steps, and then you again see the smell. There is no smell in the uh, base one that is the sodium hydroxide one and this smell in hydrochloric so 
I took hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. You can take any acid. You can take any acid. For example, you can take sulfuric acid or lactic acid. And for base also, you can take any base, potassium hydroxide, any base you can take. Okay. So this is my activity. You can perform in the lab. If you have a lab and if you have a lactic lab, you can do this. We'll do one more activity based on the olfactory indicators. This time, we will take vanillases. For vanillases, also we know that the smell goes off in the base and the smell is still intact in acid. So we'll take some dilute vanillases and we'll check the smell of this. We'll smell it, right? Now we'll take some acid, maybe HCl, and we'll take two test tubes. So one guy is HCl and one guy is NH, right? Two test tubes we'll take. And in one test tube, uh, in this HCl one, we'll put uh, the vanilla also. Here also we'll put the vanilla, right? And we'll shake it. Now, we'll check the order of this again. We'll find that the one with the acid will still smell. This guy will still smell. And this guy will not smell. Why? Because with acid, the smell of vanilla essence is still intact. But with the base, the smell of vanilla essence goes off. So, the conclusion is the order of vinyl acids disappears when it is added to the base and the order of vinyl acids is persisting when we add to the acid. So, acid plus vanilla essence, smell is still there, smell exists, base plus vinyl essence, no smell, smell goes off. Correct. I mean, you may find the smell of sodium hydroxide and HCl, but what smell I'm talking about is I'm talking about the vanilla essence smell. Okay, vanilla essence smell because vanilla essence will have a, a typical smell. That particular smell will go off. Go off. So one question our students ask is how to determine the gas in lab? What is the normal experiment used? So normally, the kind of gas which we deal with um, in lab is hydrogen gas and carbon gas. For hydrogen, uh, it pops, sound comes when the candle is placed nearby. So if you want to uh, determine if it is hydrogen, you put a candle nearby, it pops up, it's hydrogen. For carbon dioxide gas, you pass the milky water and that turns milky. So you have lime water that turns milky, that means it's carbon dioxide. So, Generally, lab we get this carbon dioxide gas or hydrogen gas. To test this gas, we use this kind of uh, test. Uh, for hydrogen, we pop some cans and candle space nearby. For carbon dioxide, the uh, line water comes. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.